I'm it's not let me fuck! Hello and welcome back to whatever we're calling this now. We still haven't got a name, I don't think, anyway. Uh, we've got a guest. Well, not so much a guest, uh, a new host. Say hi, Sunny. <laughs> hi, Sunny. Yes, he, he he's a very good friend of ours. Well, one of our originals. He's, he's not a of local, yours. you see. Yeah, he's not a local, you see. He's not <laughs> Fuck you, guys. <laughs> but he is a very good friend of ours and has been with us for Listen a very long time. And yeah, so... Since you weren't with our first episode, Sonny, tell us a bit about yourself. Tell us a bit about your Eleven history and uh, your play style. Wow, tell us a little it. bit about yourself. Tell, and then we'll hi- <laughs> tell me your love, your need, your desire. This is I... a job interview. This is a job interview. Tell us, about, tell us about, tell me about yourself. What can you bring to our organization? <laughs> well, I play really good in a party. Oh, uh, we don't want uh, you. Oh. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, no, I, I am the textbook definition of a Care Bear. I play. I definitely don't support, want you. <laughs> <laughs> I play support classes. I play white mage. Uh, that's oh, never mind. I want the, you. That's what I. That's what I really like in in MMOs in general. Like a bouse. Uh, like a bouse, healing like a bouse. Yes. Damn straight. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Final Fantasy XI was my uh, very first MMO. I mean, I, I dabbled in uh, private servers and betas for like Ragnarok Online and Lineage, but um, Final Fantasy XI was my very first pay-to-play pay MMO, and I struggled for the longest time with that game. I found it uh, very difficult, and uh, Hard Nobody to... ever struggles in Final Fantasy XI. Ever. It's the easiest <laughs> game ever made. Oh, yeah. It only, t- only takes you two weeks to get max level. I beat the game on the second day. Why? <laughs> Was this when the Bishek came out? <laughs> Ooh, burn. <laughs> no, I think that's a similar pattern. No, though, yes, it? yes. <laughs> okay. uh, 11, was, 11 was my first MMO. So, I mean, I dabbled with things like RuneScape, but that, I don't count that as an MMO. No, nor you shouldn't. But no, sorry. So carry on. Um, <clears throat> well, um, I, I've uh, I've had several link shells, um, all of which kind of deteriorated over the years, and the people st- stopped playing, and I never really got too far into the game. Um, I I got stuck uh, before even uh, getting my my uh, Sacrarium, uh access, uh, things like that, you know. I never even beat Shadow Lord, and by this point, I was, well, uh, about, like, three years into the game. Gee. Three or four. I just, I, I couldn't get anything done. Um, Do you even hit very... 70? Did you hit 75? You did, right? Yeah, once I, once I, I, I joined I up, remember. once I joined up with you guys. Yay! We'll get you 75! da da that's uh, yeah. That was actually the first order. Yeah, wasn't of the stuff. wasn't the level cap already increased at that point though? <laughs> I'm not trying to rain on your parade or anything. I'm just saying. No, but you are. But no, it's tr- it, it was just incredibly difficult to get anything done. Um, like I just like to do. De- I'm sorry. I like to deflate things sometimes. Yeah, I know you do. Like a flan in a cupboard. <laughs> oh God! Papa, <laughs> now man, no, no, you got that joke. I mean, it's quite sad. But, but yeah, I, mean, I, I keep interrupting. I'm making you sound like you're on Fox News. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Be aware that the Shaco One Ice does not necessarily share the opinions of Viceroy. You're on the O'Reilly factor. Oh, well, go on. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, fuck. Where was I? Um, okay, we'll do it live. Let the, <laughs> so yeah, but most of my link, so yeah, most of my link shells kind of deteriorated, t- deteriorated over the time, and I, I just had the hardest time getting anything done outside of my link shell. I am not a very, uh, or was not a very social person at that point, and just standing in Juno and uh, shouting for a party just wasn't my oh. thing. It just Can wasn't t- my thing. I just couldn't get myself to do it. I thought it was the most heinous thing ever. It was the most stressful of. Can I can I tell you a story? Because well, you, you mentioned shouting people shouting for help. This remember when that's all people would do at least early on. They would just shout for everything. Yeah. Jared and May have heard this story, but 
Uh, this was maybe six months in. This is when I had to do the first limit break, the G G1. I didn't really know what I had to do, and I don't really think there was a wiki yet. That's when you had to go over to Alakazam. All right. And I could never all. find I could never find anything on Alakazam. I could never find sh- I couldn't find shit over there. <laughs> There's a reason it was called Alakazam. Exactly. It just all disappeared in front of me. So, um, I I was in uh. Uh, lower Juno, I, I would see people shouting, so I was getting an idea of how to shout and how to do this other stuff. So they were shouting for the limit, you know, G, limit break one, help me out, da da da. So I decided to do it myself. And yeah. I'm shouting for two hours. And I'm not getting any response. No response. And I'm yeah. getting really, really frustrated. So I'm in, I'm in my link shell, whatever link shell it was at the time, I don't know. And I said to and I was, I'm about to say something, and somebody in my link shell says, hey, Vice, are you trying to get Limit Break 1 done? I said, yes, I am. Can you help me? And he says, because he saw my shouts in, in Lower Juno. And he says, I think I, he says, do you have anybody? I said, no, I don't have, I'm still by myself, I have nobody. Nobody's, nobody's answering my, uh, my, my tells, Will my shouts. And he, said, Roan Rich? And, and he says to me, I think I know why. I said, why? He says, because you're shouting, limit breads and rice. Help me out. Can I have it? Please help. <laughs> for two, what I say, for two hours, I was shouting. Nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. And you nobody even sent me a tell to correct me. You were shouting for dairy nobody products. Gave, nobody everyone gave thought, I think everyone thought I was trolling Lower Juno for two hours. <laughs> I was shouting, limit breads and rice, one. Please assist, something. Please assist. Help me out. Whatever. Not a uh, single response. Uh, uh, and if they actually know you, they they w- could actually think that you were trolling Lower Juno because mm-hmm. that's what you do. Yeah, it's kind of what you do. <laughs> so then I changed it. Right after that, I got two. I got two tells. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What? Uh, and what's the moral of this story, kids? Don't ask for dairy products in Juno. No, don't have me shout for you. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised that you didn't get any unwanted trade requests for, uh, like, rice balls and stuff. <laughs> like, fuck off! I got no- what are you doing? I got nothing. I got nothing. Not a tell. Not even, like, an, not even like, a, like a shout that said, LOL, what are you talking? Nothing. Not yeah, even a pity nothing. tell. Either. Well, maybe nobody noticed it. I don't know, but... Nah. Fuck. But <laughs> that, that's, that's another thing uh, with Eleven. It's, it's really hard to get through to people. Yeah, it's, because it's, right. because you know everyone knows that whatever you're going to undertake is going to take at least two hours, and then you're actually ready to go and do the event that you want to do because you spent like an hour, uh, hour and a half to get a party together to get everything done. I mean this this is my this is my experience with Eleven every single time. You always had to keep the white mages happy, or they'll leave. And the paladins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they, See, I was never any of those things, so it didn't matter to they, me until much they, later. They, they made sure that I was happy. That's for damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! But don't, yeah, yeah, don't suck, like, White Mage. When you when you think thing. when you think you know what I'm going to do something on my own for a change, um, I just couldn't. I mean, yeah. I was White Mage, and that was basically the only thing I've ever had had level, which is also like my fault, I'd say. Um. You didn't try anything else? I dabbled. I just never got really far. Uh, I wanted to do Red Mage right from the start, but Uh Red Mage wasn't what I expected it to be. Looking at what Red Mage um, always is in in, in previous Final Fantasy games, so I kind of gave that up. Um, And all the other things didn't really appeal to me. I don't like nuking. I don't like... DPSing, it's just yeah. Uh, my 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 path in MMOs is very narrow. Until I realized that white mages can use hammers, so now that's an all that's a whole different story. And then <laughs> one could partake in the ancient rite of hammer time. Yes, dual hammer time. <laughs> Slash this in. I, this, this is when I cut to MC Hammer to show on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would do a lot of things, but not that. So, yeah, but it was increasingly hard to get anything done, and I got really burned out. Uh, I um, kind of had an on-again, off-again relationship with Eleven for the longest time, uh, until, like, I'd say my 
fourth year. Did you begin uh, at Europe's launch, by the way? You yes, must have, right? I, yeah, yeah, the day it came out uh, in stores here, um, sh- the stores actually um, shut at five, mm-hmm. and I uh, I heard a friend of mine uh, at four thirty tell me that uh, eleven was was released in stores. So I took my bike, I. I paddled as fast as I fucking could. I got to the store five minutes to five, got three copies for me and my friends and just made it. (laughs) It was, yeah, that was, that was great. And then like 20 hour install, which was less (laughs) than great. Yeah. (laughs) Shit, I could have gotten this tomorrow and would have played it around the same time. Fuck. I don't, I don't even remember that first night for me. Like, I don't even know if I was able to play it that first night. It, it it sucked, yeah. but it was yeah. Halloween. I, maybe I went trick or treating. I don't know. Uh, so I stopped. I started. I started with a with a different uh, a different character, uh, uh, which I got to level twenty two until I quit uh, because my my friends quit as well. So my my account was like in a hiatus for I'd say uh, half a year, a year maybe, until I booted it back up, made a new character, Asuna. Uh, later Sunni, um, and that just became my my uh, white mage Mithra. Uh, yeah, as I said, I, I took the longest time to to get it to where I needed to be, and I finally decided to, uh, with the help of things like Fields of Valor and uh, all sorts of buffs and, and and things like that, I tried to solo more and more things uh, by subbing in and getting two hammers in there. And just yeah, I did my best to 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 get stuff done on my own, uh, since my link shell was always busy, always. Um, and 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 the 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 thing is about the link shells I've been in, they were always on different uh, paths that I was on. Mm-hmm. So when I wanted to get a COP run done, everyone already finished the COP and never wanted to go back there ever, 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 ever again. Because fuck the uh, Same goes with, with Zillard. You know? Uh, and then um, Eldim uh, Necropolis, which is the uh, forefront of Sacrarium, right? I, f- I forget. I have no idea. Chair? Sorry, what was that, Sunni? Uh, Eldium Necropolis is the area before Scrarium, right? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. And, okay. Well, uh, probably... what do you mean before Scrarium? Like it's zoned next to each other? Yeah, it's no. zone. It's it's the zone you need to be in to gain access to Scrarium. Uh, no, that's uh. No, 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 no. That's uh. That's Mr. Cut. Yeah. Eldium Necropolis is in then is what's, beneath then the Tully Downs. Then what's that's behind? the tomb. Oh, right, yeah. It's, then that's the tomb beneath... Uh, right. Yeah. And what's behind Sacraria Downs? What's behind Sacrarium? Yeah, what's the zone after Sacrarium? There is no zone after... No, you can't nothing. go beyond Sacrarium. Sacrarium. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's like Thunderdome. There's nothing beyond it. Yeah, Blue Face Meadows or whatever, or um, Mizuro Coast. I always get those two. I, 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 I could have sworn there was an area between... Tavnasia and Sacrarium. Yeah. Are you thinking? Are you thinking of aqueducts? Yes. Monia aqueducts. Yes. Yeah. I am thinking of the aqueducts. I mean, a- aqueducts. Yeah. Yeah. Tavnasia and oh, Sacred. Oh, I hate. Aqueducts. Okay. Anyway, so this so this was a shitty uh, a shitty <laughs> derailment. Uh, anyway, I was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> go on to get this back on track. Oh, please do. <laughs> so I was I was there. Um, soloing uh, as best as I could to try and get uh, Swift Belt and to, to like further my story. Oh, that's, no, that is Sacrarium. That's not Aqueducts. That's Sacrarium. Right. Yep. Okay. So good. But you get the Codex in Aqueducts. Yes. So you're trying to get a Codex. I'm trying I, to establish where the fuck we no, are. No, no okay, you get the okay, Codex in Sacrarium. No, this is what happened. I, I probably, um, I think I soloed the Codex and went to Sacrarium <laughs> to get my Swift Belt. I think that's what happened. Somewhere. I'm sorry. Why are you it's laughing? Funny to me. Because I love how confused we all are. Go yeah. on. It's like, oh, oh, we do it, you farm it in Juno, you fight the monster in White Gate. I'm sure that's canon somewhere. Anyway, I'm, I'm, go on. 
So yeah, uh, Sacrarium comes along, and all of a sudden I see Viceroy. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt again. Didn't they increase the level cap at this point? Yeah, so they, like it was, yeah, it was already, uncapped. I already mentioned uncapped. this. You like oh. to rub this in, don't you? No, 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 no. I don't mean like <laughs> level cap eighty. I'm talking about the, on the COP areas. You, you, because remember that was used to be a fifty, a level fifty zone. Oh, they uncapped it. Yeah, they uncapped. Yeah, it was uncapped. It. Yeah, they already did. Yeah, they already no, did. I'm not trying I, to rub I, that. I, I, I don't think I even finished uh, COP before the cap was lifted. Before it made easy. Yeah. Right. To, through no fault of my own. I mean, nobody wanted to go through it any more caps, so whatever. <laughs> well, that was something I was rubbing in somebody's face when they when they quit the game because they raged they couldn't get a COP party. It was a, it was a one week after they left that they announced that they were lifting that cap. No. I said, oh, you should come back. Well, no, I don't want to come back. No, I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. I won't say who that person. Is. I won't say who that person is. But yeah, this is this is when I uh, when I met Viceroy, and uh, at that point, uh, Arwen was with him, um, mm-hmm. farming swift belts. Nelia. Ne- no, uh, actually, it was it was just you and Arwen, but. Outside, uh, when really? we start, when, when we, um, I think later on we we did. Oh no, you were split up. You guys were split up. Nelia was there. So but after, That's in after the unrated the, version. After the Swift Belt run, you guys invited me to an EXP party where mm-hmm. Sil was, and like five minutes in, you invited me on Skype, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And I was a Chocobo Knight. And then it you was... joined our illustrious order. Yes, we are... right. I mean, it was. It, I think it was because. Well, we were. Yeah, we were getting a swift belt for Arwen, right? Is that what you said? I think so. Yeah. I mean, she was getting a swift. Yeah. You guys were all split up, and she was walking behind you. I just remember that day I was on Dragoon, as I almost always was, yes. and we went. Yeah, we went down there and did that. And I think it was mo- – we also wanted to just kind of go down there and kind of get revenge on everything that had killed us in the past because it was very nice to go down there as a 75 and just destroy everything <laughs> or, or an 80 or an 80, whatever level we were. It was very cathartic. Yeah, I, yeah, you were by – I remember that. You were by yourself, and uh, yeah. I think we just said, you know, let's just help this guy out. I mean it's – you know. Yeah, I wanted the Swift Belt to, uh, to get my uh, melee white mage uh, going a bit. After right. reading some, uh, after reading some gear, uh, uh, gear requirements on uh, FF Encyclopedia. Right. Right, and then we just kind of figured that you know, let's just see if the guy, if this dude has Skype or this chick, because we thought you were a girl. Yeah, you. Th- uh, <laughs> <laughs> you totally thought I was a girl. Yeah, I remember. But, th- no, I, but then I think shortly after that, I realized no, there were more dude Mithras than than. Uh, than, than girls, much, I think. Pretty much. Like m- so, most, most of the party yeah. at that point, uh, when I logged in, I was like, yeah. hello. I was like, hello. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, it's a dude. It's a dude. And then that dude would come. I, really? I swear you came in, you were like, hi! <laughs> like, very jubilant. <laughs> it was like, oh my god! Yeah, we, oh my yeah god. you know, in, in, in my... Wasn't like, in, oh my in my God. mind, I was really cool and like suave. <laughs> See, yeah. what, not probably, what, what probably happened was, oh my God, are you guys the real chocobo knights? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna faint. <laughs> oh my God, it's Sale. Oh my God, it's Viceroy. Oh my God, it's Nelia. That's what, <laughs> what it says in the email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait a that's so, what, so that's what it was then. What's with what? You were starstruck. I, yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> well, I am not. Sh- I am not ashamed to admit that. I, I mean, I knew CK well before I met you guys. Uh, yeah. I think. I think the first first video I saw from you was Hi Kermy, <laughs> uh, episode seventeen. That same zone. Yeah. Yeah. I was just I was just, I was laughing my ass off because what what I was looking for and what I always always missed in the Final Fantasy community was um, proper machinima and like World of Warcraft when you look at World of Warcraft um, so much machinima 
Yeah, so much machinima, but it's because it's all uh, also very easy to manipulate a camera around in World of Warcraft and like get a uh, a proper video made because of the ease of um, how the game works. Um, so a lot of things were done there, uh, voiceovers, uh, complete scenes were acted out, and I missed this in in 11 which was a damn shame because all i got was like you said in your previous episode all i got was the head let the bodies hit the floor in about 90 percent of every fucking oh you got that too oh yeah yeah, (laughs) there was always something like that it was oh yeah like let the bodies hit the floor or uh i don't know uh wait and bleed or something yeah Uh, 90s punk rock basically yeah 90s punk rock and like new metal uh (laughs) bullshit so, I'm cool, look at me, I'm playing Blink-182, it's like, you're really not. Yeah. Also, like, uh, all the videos were kind of shitty quality, so even if you really wanted to look what everyone was doing, chat log was so... Yeah, you couldn't uh, see it on uh, you couldn't, no. You couldn't see the chat log, you, you couldn't you see... You couldn't see that for about two years, on. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, by chance, I stumbled upon Knights of the Chocobos, um um, well, yeah, that's what we were called. I forgot about that. Nice of the Chocobo, yeah. Yeah, that was the first name. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what I noticed was that um, all the movies were numbered. So I'm like, oh, episodes. So I'm thinking maybe finally somebody is putting some fucking effort into this. Mm. And you found yeah, out what? <laughs> say what? And you found out, oh, they're just recording themselves. Yeah. Just... Well, yeah, we weren't. Yeah, that's the thing, though. We weren't. We weren't acting. Yeah, but um, regardless if you were acting or not, I I clicked on the first video I, I came across, which was I, I think it was episode seventeen. I just saw everyone have so much fun, and it wasn't an informative video. It wasn't to tell how to no. like no. battle anything or this like hi this is my tactics video for Shadow Lord and my setup is like a white mage and a black mage and some DPS and derp. No, it, it was just it was just so much fun. I, and, listen, you you want to learn how to do something. You were the last people you should come yeah. to. <laughs> this, this, this is a fact. <laughs> this is a health warning. Chocobo Knights are not responsible for any EXP loss that may be incurred. No. You know that that when we made that video, that was actually the night that we met Tyso and Kiela. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh wow! That was when we were doing. You know, that was that was that was our first COP thing. But we, remember, we went in to do the professor, and we saw them standing outside them with their entire group. Oh yeah. We remember we aligned stuff with them, and then we realized like if we didn't align stuff with them, we would have been so fucked. Yes, I remember. Yeah. And then we ended up going through with them the rest of the way. Which is kind of awesome. Yeah. Talking of that and talking of fun thing, I think maybe it's time to move on to our first video. Did we interrupt Sunny though? Was he not done? So I don't know, Sunny. Were you done? Uh, I might as well have been. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is the last thing. That, like I said, I I I um I knew Chocobo Nice like well before I even realized that a you guys were on Cerberus nowadays. Because the mm-hmm. server merged with Odin to Cerberus, and purely coincidental, I just saw somebody walk across like Viceroy, 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 Viceroy. <laughs> no, it's Viceroy. Oh, holy shit, it's actually <laughs> Viceroy. And I did a check, and it was like Chocobo nice. I'm like, fucking hell, it is actually, it is, it actually is him. <gasps> and I'm Slash. like, okay, okay, play this cool. <laughs> To which you come into Skype. Hi! <laughs> to which I just look at the guy, slash wave, and like, hi. No, actually, what was the first thing I... I think I... I I'm, I'm trying you know, to I actually, that. the first thing I did, I think, was send you a tell. And I think I said, I love the stuff that you do on YouTube. I think that's the first thing I said to you. Okay. I, I, I don't remember. And you were like, thanks. And that was it. I'm like, okay, that, that crashed and burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not the most epic conversation. <laughs> well, what can I... 
<laughs> well, what do you want me to say? Yeah, exactly. I know. Uh, thanks. Which was I know, your favorite be, word? Thanks. Thanks. Let's be best friends. Thanks. What Yay. was your favorite word? What did yeah. you like? Let's be BFFF. Let's be BFFF. Yes, exactly. You know? <laughs> um. Well, look. I mean, people. I mean, forgive me if I sound like I'm bragging, but people have done that in the past, and uh, you know, I was never somebody who kind of lives in any kind of celebrity thing. Like the way I looked at it was, look, all I'm doing is uploading stuff to YouTube. You know, so do millions of other people. Yeah, you know, but it's like I like I told you before, you had like, like conscious or no, you had a formula going that actually worked and put Final Fantasy XI in a very positive light. And you were one of the few who managed to do that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it goes full circle. The site complete. <laughs> You're welcome, Thanks. he says in auto-translate. Oh, dear. So, this video, we have Dormammu. Hold on. Oh. Thanks, car- Thanks, carrot underscore carrot. Oh, there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Can we continue I don't. I never, I never make that face. I always say it. You always say it. I always say it. Less than three. So, right. Joy Toy, we have Joy Toy. Dormammu, Zamini, Agit Lamp, White Mist, Gamer Man, Nora, Baracus, Raton, and that beloved Viceroy. Oh I can breathe now. Right. So, All right, so hit play. All right, hit play. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. I got it. So who were we actually getting Joy Toy for this? I wasn't here at the time, so I can't remember. Arj- Arjun Lamb. Arjun Arj- Arj- Lamb. Okay. He begged me right, guys, to come help out, him with this. <laughs> I remember mine. Uh, I was very lucky with mine. White Mist like, get, uh, uh, okay, assisted okay, me getting yeah. yeah. my yeah. Joy Toy. Yeah. And we spent so much time in that cave. Wasn't this... This might have been the night that Nora transferred, because Nora was on Seraph with me, and we made him. I made him transfer. Oh yeah, because Nora came with you. He was another. He was another uh, transferee. Arjun Lamb's dead, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, oh no, 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 no it's a tower. Yeah. Well, stay away. He. Yeah, mages yeah. stay back. Get the hell away. He was under the impression that he could tank it, and I told him, "Don't. You're not going to be able to hold it." Yeah, bad like things a, will happen. You, yeah. I said, dude, just don't, don't yeah, try. He got Arjit yeah, trying to tell White Mist to get away from it, but yeah, White Mist being White Mist, uh, he was, you know, he knew what he was doing. I'll grant him that. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this fight is just the biggest pain. I never remember times the and then eight hour pop windows, no defined drop time to pop. And then, we yeah. did this at like four. We did this at like four in the morning. Uh, yeah, I remember those days. NMs was so un time zone friendly. Well, because we had the time when he was going to show up, and so yeah, I was there. We were there until about you know four. Yeah, that's the only reason I ever got rid of it. Wow, I actually got the pop time. Yeah. I was very lucky with that. And, and there was like, I remember there was like this Taru Taru black mage who wasn't in our group, just kind of wandering around, and he was so paranoid that he was going to try to take it. I'm like, dude, he's not going to be able to solo that thing. He's like, no, he's going to take it and run away. Just to troll us? What? Well, no, honestly, I remember me and White Mist soloed it. I wasn't bad. He was on his uh, Red Mage Ninja, and we, sorry, we do it. So it wasn't an easy battle, but it was a battle. Uh, he pulled, yeah, but he time zone unfriendly, his... Jared. Like you said, I mean, you, you probably had the same thing as I, where uh, you got the most stuff done around 3 a.m. in the morning for us. Yes, Jared played all night long. This was during he was the time. All time. Well, this yeah. is during the days when my job allowed me to really go to bed super late because I didn't have till like a midday start. I used to work call center at this point, so I didn't have till a midday start. Mm-hmm. So, it's about like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. All right. He's at 66. I was still a student back in the 11 days, so... Yeah, when I, I actually just... started, I was a student as well. I think it's when I admit... I was, yeah, it was December... Tw- the day after Christmas, I uploaded this, no, but I don't think uh, we did it that day. Yeah. Um, I was in my final year of college, and so, you know, I had plenty of time to... Uh, I graduated that spring, like the following spring, but uh, I had plenty of time to do all this shit. <laughs> Dude, do you see the damage I'm doing to it? Though? Just a quick question: Does Agit get raised in this video at any point? <laughs> <laughs> this is his joy toy, and it's like the easiest I don't, joy I don't, toy I don't, ever. I don't think I don't think so because nobody, all the mages are kind of uh, occupied. 
But right. clearly, right. Jared, and clearly, Arch is a superior floor tank than you. Yeah, absolutely. The floor, as you know, the floor ain't going nowhere. I that he was dead. This was, I mean, he wasn't even, I don't even think he was in our shell yet, was he? Nope, he wasn't. He was still uh, part of the LBI community. Yeah, that, I know that's the that's the LBI probably has on. I know that that it was their is, color. Yeah, I mean, I think he, I think he ducked yeah, between that two like like for a long time. Which is the bad day bad. Oh, he got married. Oh god. He got married in the game, not to to what the hell was her name? Norwin, I think her name was. Oh yeah. Were you there that? Were you know that night? I remember. So we did this whole thing, and it was a lot of fun. Was and that I think we. Brute, got... wasn't it? Forty-nine percent. You guys are doing good. Come on. Yes. And I gave him a wedding present. I said, "Dude, I'm going to give you the greatest wedding present I could ever give somebody." Oh. He, he says, "What?" I said, "I'm giving you a pearl to my link shell." <laughs> I remember that. That. That's when, yeah. that's when we were looking, still look, still looking for people. <laughs> hey, we had lots of people there. Best time to uh, recruit. So yeah. here's a couple of names I don't remember. Gamer man. Uh, I remember gamer man. I don't remember him. I, I well, sort of. I don't remember. Well, like, I don't really. Are there anyone? Is there anyone in Skype with us? Because I'm not even listening to what we're saying. That. Just get out. We don't. Run through who's, in Skype, who's in the Skype conversation with us at the time? <laughs> well, so we've got people like Dorb, who is a friend of Meanie. He got the right, Meanie. I, just, I so I think at the time we. we have, I don't think Dorm's in Skype though, is he? I don't even hear his voice. No, I don't think he was. No, I think I know these are uh, Ajit White Smith. I think. Right. Right. You are. I think. Those are the only people I've heard so far, but do I may be wrong. For some reason, I got Gamer Man confused with Ganny Man. Yeah, I read it, Ganny Man. First, so I was like, well, Whoa, did we have Ganny Man? Did we? With Can I say this is so boring to watch? It is. I mean, how the fuck can you make this fun? Yeah, this is like the you know definition of a time oh, stick right here. Well, we, well, even then though, we weren't. I don't want to say we weren't having fun yet, but we weren't doing anything that was like that required you to watch the whole thing or anything. It was nothing that was very thrilling. I was still kind of, you know. They just talked about Sorry. raising Adj. It's like, no, no, just leave me dead. He, he did. Gotcha. But like, we didn't have Aradon yet. We didn't have um, Asmodia. We didn't have nobody that really kind of like made Beanie. something hysteric. Yeah, hysterically funny in a video. Yeah. We didn't have any of those yet. So we'll have to share. Plus, a lot of us didn't even. A lot of us didn't really know each other yet. No, we were still sort of getting, feeling the water, so to speak. Right, we trying to know what we could, how far we could push each individual person, so to speak. I think my hysteric barrage kind of pissed him off earlier. Oh, oh! oh. Look at this. Still, oh, Maelstrom. We have that. I have that spell. Please don't. I may have. I may have, I may have learned it that day. <laughs> look at look at look at me again. No macros. Oh my god, so old school. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing your vids and seeing. Um, you actually typing out your macros. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. Uh, yeah, I tried it every now and then uh, for like things that. I, I didn't use very often. It was there were just times. Quite handy. There were just times. Yeah. Well, there were just times like you know going through the menu where I just needed to do that instead. <clears throat> yeah. God, this is, this is torture. <laughs> Why is it humping the ground? I, I was I was I was also <laughs> just fucking terrible with updating my macros and 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 getting everything like working correctly. <laughs> yeah, as I, as I said, I've said this several times now. I only ever use my macros. I had macros, but I only ever really used them for like events like Dynamis. And even then, it was only thing to like provoke. So there was a message that was going to link chill off party chat. Yeah. I, 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 I just thought the menu. Huh? Was, and this is what annoys me about fourteen. The menu in eleven is very sleek and simple. You can do stuff from the menu quite easily. Yeah. But it, it, it's so so easy. I did nearly all everything I need to do from the menu. I wish I could read the chat log. I actually have just macros. Oh, he's finally he's finally oh. dying. I just I just lost. This is. Oh my god. Yeah, and he stayed up eight hours plus probably get this. Oh, believe me, it's torture to watch, but it was even worse to do it. And it's dead, and we got a joy toy. Yes! 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 yes. Every time Arch, every time Arch land one something, yes! Yes! You just know he went to change his underwear afterwards. Oh, dude, every remember every COP fight, every single COP fight, yes! Yes, uh, I fucking blast my ears off every single time. <laughs> oh god, it was funny though. Was I I do this I do the same thing in fourteen though. Yeah. First thing, first time we killed Patrol, I was all over that mumble chat. Yes, <laughs> were you all over to mumbles? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, yeah. That that 
yeah, we were. I was still early. I still didn't really know what I was hoping to do with all of those yet because, again, we weren't really. I don't want to say we weren't having fun, but we weren't very. We weren't being entertaining yet. Ah, so, NMs. All right, so the NMs. <laughs> uh, uh, what I really there's now eleven. I did like NMs in such because I did do H and M stuff for a year. I did it for a very long time with a hit oh. show, and they were challenging. Uh, they were fun the first time or first couple times you do them, particularly mm-hmm. if it's something you hadn't done before. Mm-hmm. But I often found over time it was like a grind wheel. The longer you did it, the more and more it just became. Fun. What were the NMs that we... I think the most popular NM that we always camped... And you're gonna laugh when you because you, you, you know. I know which one times, it is. How many times was somebody always camping Scogs through? Oh fucking ladybug! <laughs> fucking lady! It, it, it was it was Pyrrhus. Pyrrhus got that ring and sold it three times in one day. He became oh a God. gillionaire. He was that ring. He was always down da- that because that's when the ring was pretty expensive. Yeah. he was down there all the time. What was the only ring that any had any form of amnesia protection? What I do remember is that I I. Him and I had a little competition one day, and we were on Skype doing it, but I grabbed it. I grabbed the NM in between that, because it popped four times, and the ring dropped every single time that day. <laughs> but I got it once. He got it three times that day. But I got it like in between his second and third one, and I took the ring, and I remember we're on Skype, and I said to him, hey, I, you know, I'm kind of trolling. I'm like, hey, I got the ring, blah, blah, blah. and he goes, all I hear was, remember, remember like Pierce's love voice, all I heard was, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I didn't even know him very well. I thought he was—I thought he was going to jump through the mic and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the scariest thing I ever heard in my life. Uh, I have actually met Piros in real life. I've actually hung, hung out with him before, and he is just like that in real life as well. It is—he is an absolute baller to hang out. I was watching a video that somebody somebody else in our show put up. I don't remember what fight. It was some TOAU mission. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe, maybe Puppet in Peril. I'm not sure. But you were there. Pyrrhus was there. Unispirit was there. Um, Asmo was there. Mini and Shiro. And you guys were like taking so long to, to buff up that Pyrrhus starts to walk toward the the NM like he wasn't <laughs> running. He was walking. And everyone's like, because it was taking so long, he was just kind of casually walking towards it. And you guys were like, where are you going? He goes, I'm gonna go solo it. <laughs> <laughs> he was our Leroy Jenkins in some respect. Oh god, oh, I remember. Dude, I, I, I remember the first NM so I came across. And I'm like, what's a leaping Lizzie? <laughs> <laughs> I think I mentioned this in Link Shell, and before I could say, no, don't, I was dead. Yeah, you're lucky. At least you got killed by something that looked menacing. I found Tic Tac Tom on my first day. Oh. I got killed by a fucking vegetable. <laughs> I was. Wait, wait, do you mean Tom Tic Tac? That one, yes. Whatever it's called, it. Oh, Tic Tac Tom! Tic Tac Tom! Would you like to play a game? No, I fucking wouldn't. Die, you Tic Tac Tom! Would you like a breath mint then? Oh, please! I'm trying to think of the first I, one. I very much oh, remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, go on. It was like when I was in Siru it was just a case of I, uh, the first thing I got killed by was a crab. The second thing I got killed by was a crawler. And since oh. then, me and my friend have always agreed that our 80s cover band is going to be called Crabbies and Crawlers. I'll tell you the first one I came across. Um, send, you know, I'm in Sendoria. You know, you're you're doing your first job, one to ten. Yeah, yeah. I'm out there killing beetles. I come across the fungus beetle. <laughs> oh, but yeah. but I'm not. But the thing is, like, I'm not paying attention to what its name is because I'm just not thinking. I'm like, oh, I'm just killing beetles. There's another one, and I'm killing it. I'm like, why is this thing hitting me so hard? <laughs> why am I taking like 200 point, like you know, 75 points of damage? And I'm like, oh shit, it's an NM. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. remember having the same reaction to the very first bunny I tried to kill. The, uh, the, so why no is matter, this killing me? Why is this hurting me so bad? No matter what level you are, there will always be a bunny high enough to kill you. What's yeah. a jag of the year jack? <laughs> yeah, seriously. No, what you should be asking is, what is his drop? Seriously. Do you remember <laughs> the first time you ever saw the battering rams? Yes. Oh my! Scared the motherfucking hell out of me. I was like, yeah. What? Hell, is my screen shaking? It's like, is there enough? Holy! Hi! Le Saint Plateau was never that scary. Oh, my God. The first time I ever saw... Like, that's what happened. The screen was shaking. Because I, I didn't see it, because the camera was facing the other way. It was behind me. I just get fucking literally raped, because I lost my level and all my gear fell off. 
Oh, oh no. <laughs> the worst thing that could possibly happen. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? And then, you know, it's this fucking bat, this big hulk of a thing is over me. I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? And, and in your head, all you're hearing is, hi, hi. Oh, yeah. i got to eat you. <laughs> but when, I, when my Blue Mage was 75, I had to get Ram Charge. I had to get Ram Charge. And I didn't know where to go. Mm-hmm. Because there were the ones in um, the COP areas, but they were like in the 80s, and I didn't want to like go. go I didn't. I just really didn't want to deal with them. So as it happened, the Feast of Swords was taking place. Remember, you got that the wooden katana, like oh, the level yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I take the wooden katana. I go down to Constant Highlands, and I am beating on a ram, 75 <laughs> blue mage with a wooden katana, doing like one, two points of damage. Got ram charge in the first go. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> nice. Oh I take a you know, take a lesson to... take a lesson, Blue Mage. Blue I Mages. remember trying to farm battering ram um at La Thain Plateau. Motherfucker takes forever to pop. Yes, yes he does. Yes. No fun. What, what's the one for the uh is it the brown belt or the uh, the uh, you need one of them to get one of the brown belt items or the not the brown belt, the the other one before the purple belt items? Yeah. For monk? Have... Yeah. Can't really remember why I was farming him. Maybe just for monks drops. I don't know. Monks help me out, but uh, those things scare the living hell out of me. <laughs> oh yes. And speaking of NMs, last night I was in my Thursday night static. I we were doing. Um, I was helping friends with. Uh, okay, I was helping friends do their um, AF. Tyso needs his monk. Hands, maybe I don't know, but we had to go through the area with the with the, with the trees mm-hmm. in the shroud in the south shroud. Oh my god, I I hate those things more than life itself. Yeah, those trees are unfair because so. those trees, and then you have those spin diggles around you that fuck you up. The Ugh. wolves, everything. Yeah. You have to walk past the tree so they don't the, aggro the you. Monkey that hug the monkey that you. Oh my god, you have to hug the wall a and just walk. And no matter what you do, those wolves are always going to get you. Yeah, no, all you yeah. can do is walk away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, or just treat motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your cat friends for the night. Yeah, I remember like NMs in fourteen were just better to hand, like more manageable. I think more manageable, not so much of a pain in the ass to camp, and more reliable drop rates. You're not there because half they, your yeah. life. Because the, they come right back. They come right back. Yeah, the the change in pop rates and claim uh, and claiming was the thing that made NM hunting for me in fourteen. Absolutely, mm. it's the exact same same reason why I did not bother with it in eleven. I now farm NMs for uh, for the drops to get more seals. Uh, whenever I don't get a a, a total rack party, uh, and it's fun to do. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no, yeah, it's not Probably like room. wait two hours, kill the yeah, NM, don't get a drop. Wait another two hours. Beating in. the ever living daylights out of Cockerum Quick Fingers is so much more fun than <laughs> dying to to Jaggedy or Jack. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. And plus, killing Cocoon. When is that going to get old? Uh, but no, I, I think the NM formula which they're currently using fourteen, and one well, I hope that they'll hope they continue to use is very good and yeah. it certainly expedites the process of okay there's a process you need to follow you need to kill this more powerful version of a general mob which is about it's going to be a challenge if you're on that level if not it's pretty easy to kill but mostly gear that gear they drop is within that level range anyway which is fantastic yeah the thing that i want and it's not necessarily about nms but it's more like i still don't feel like there's a ton of balance between any of the jobs. Like I almost feel like anyone can tank if it, if you're not a, if you're not a mage. Yeah, if if you like, do you feel the need like we need, like? I never seem to need a paladin. It's like okay, warrior will be fine. Yeah, warrior will be fine. A lancer surprisingly can tank fairly effectively. Yeah. So. No, the balance spike and... damage is enough to get to uh, keep the hate going. It's exactly the balance. I think is something that they're going to address, but. It's not addressed yet, unfortunately. And it's a shame, really, because it's putting Paladins out, because Paladin is my love and joy, as you guys know. You know, mm-hmm. Jaradin the Paladin. That's the saying. That's how Jaraden it goes. Jaradin the Paladin. Jaradin the Paladin. 
Uh, but yeah. Well, I'm, as we all know, Elvons look cooler in as Valadins. Depends. It depends what tea leaves you've been sniffing. <laughs> Suni, come on! Don't Elvons look sexier in no, as Paladin? No, Mikote did. Uh, come on, <laughs> Mikote Paladins. No. This is what. This is exactly why I leveled an Elvon character in eleven. In addition to my human. So, so you could look down I, I, didn't, everyone. I didn't want to be a paladin. I didn't want to look like that as a human. I said, no, Elvon paladins look, look fucking epic. And, <laughs> and they look even more epic in 14. <laughs> I, I said, I'm going to write this wrong and be an Elvon from the beginning. Oh, yeah. I I always uh, imagine my paladins to have like this, 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 this uh, circle beard around the mouth. It's like the, that's just the de facto paladin for me, like a goatee and a mustache. <laughs> Isn't that the de facto of the mirror universe evil people? No, <laughs> no. That would be this, yeah. This isn't true for paladins. Look it up. I mean, so many knights have like a ring beard. Oh, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, are are blonde and half ring beard. All right. Well, when we can, when I'm we not can making recustom- this up, God damn it. All right. When we recustomize him with the new graphics engine, I'll give myself a goatee. Oh <laughs> man, 2.0. Just to oh. give myself a little bit of a smirk of evil, you know. A smirk of evil. <laughs> Fawhawk is staying. I may change the shading of the hair color a little bit, but I'm, 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 ch- I'm changing to a male Makote. Yeah, you are, aren't you? I'm turning to a male cat. I wonder what. Um, uh, we can change the race. They're going to let you change race. Yep. Yeah, they are. Oh my god! They, I didn't know they that. are because uh, the graphic- not going to, but. The, the, the graphic engine changes are going to be significant enough that your character will kind of look different, and they want to give you the option that if you now no longer like the way your character looks, you can completely customize, recustomize it. But see, I didn't know that we were going to be able to change race, though. Oh, yeah, yes. everything. So, Jordan, you're changing to a Mithra? I'm t- but male cat, yes, male Mithra. Proper mantra. I still don't know all the names of the races, by the way. I know mine and Jesus the. Christ. Are, it's been a year. Listen, it's been more than a year. God damn. The first you week, you guys. The first, the first week we were playing the game when it first came out, you guys kept talking about a Rogadin. I thought you were talking about a job. I'm like, what is this Rogadin <laughs> job you're talking about? Oh man. How do how do I get this job? Yeah. I was such a Nazi about it too. No, it's fuck it. Lo- I'm calling. I'm it's I'm calling them by Bottle their fell. eleven. Names. God damn it. I'm calling them by their eleven names. That's exactly what they are. I gave up eventually. And if you've never played Eleven, tough. It's an Elvon. <laughs> it's an Ellison. God damn it! No, Ellison is my friend Ellison. Yeah. <laughs> Ellison is our friend, is the Elven. Who is an Elvon? Okay. Ellison, if you're listening. Ellison, also, if you're listening, still... listen to me. Also, they're yeah. still called uh, Myth Myth Kebabs, not Mikotebabs. God damn it! Uh, exactly. You know what? J.R. Tolkien is rolling in his grave right now. Rolling. Oh, well. <laughs> and talking of rolling, I think that might be a good time to go into episode seven. <laughs> episode se- Okay, we can go now. Episode seven. Episode, I remember the... Uh, the, begi- the beginning of our uh, COP. Yes, seven. so or- before we begin, I think we should just explain. We did, we, as some of you who may have already watched this may know, we recorded pretty much everything COP related from Diablo onwards. This is where we all sort of met together where we were in our COP experience and went forward with our static. And we went from Diablos, in fact, some of us went all the way from Promethians all the way to Promathia. We had to catch each other up. I mean, I know that when we began, I think I just wrapped up the, what's the name of that mission where we climbed the mountain? Uh, I forget the name of it. But, uh, Three, two. Uh, but, I don't remember the name oh, of the mission. No. That, that doesn't help. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's I don't know what that means. I'm opening the FFXI wiki. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> right myself. Guys, I, I've heard this from reliable other podcasts that fact-checking actually ruins podcasts. Does it? Oh. <laughs> I can think of one. Well, in fact, it's not fact-checking. It's just fact-rechecking. Because <laughs> we didn't know the name of it then. Because we didn't know the name of it then either. Yeah. It's one of these many missions that are in front of me now. Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, who, care? who, who cares? Who cares? Exactly. Let's just roll. But this is when we. What you did... say is nobody ever calls it by the name anyway. They just say mountain climb and they know what it is. Exactly. This is where we started really getting more and more into it, more and more sort of building up what we wanted to do and actually having a plan. We actually had a plan now. Yeah. So let, let's roll the clip and uh, see what happens. See what 
fun we can have. Just play, just play. Wow. <laughs> Holy pixelation, Batman. <laughs> oh, wow. Which Did back is you again, Vi? Back yeah. Back yeah. I can't even see what the fuck gear I get, have on. Get to the square! Be get to the square, very, Tom, I'll come gear for you. Okay, yeah, that's one of the good ones. I, I, don't even know what, yes, I don't even know what it is. What, what class is it? are you? I'm on Blue Mage. Are you no, it it almost yes. looks like you have a shield so, there somewhere. Yeah, you do have sh oh, No, okay. wait, that's Arjun. That's not... That's not am, I, am I on Bard? I come Jesus, on. Pixels! Oh. <laughs> no, no, Jared, I think you're on Paladin. Two Paladin? Wow, what a fucking surprise. Well, look at that chat log. What does that say? I can't even read that. It's coming up on the screen. Right <laughs> it's, now. It's, 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 you guys were using the Japanese client, weren't you? Because that, yeah, you, yeah. that looks like fucking Japanese yeah. to me. <laughs> no, I'm fell. Yeah, I'm on Paladin. We've got two Paladin in the battle. Jesus Christ! How did that work? So Barakus, Archit Lamb, yeah, Cheridin, uh, uh, White yeah, Mist, man, Vice, and whatever yeah. else I can't see because the quality. Zemini is shit. Yeah, we've got the Minion there as well, but she's out of shot at the moment. It's yeah. somewhere in the arena. So safely away from us. I think I remember the strategy for this battle being a case of. Oh, that tastes. Uh, delicious. <laughs> I don't remember um, doing this fight. Uh, I we basically stood on the. Can't even see him. Not fall over because the thing is, if you fell down, bad times. So yeah. there were certain squares that were guaranteed not to fall, and we just sort of huddled up together. Zemini as our healer. Where four fell down, right? The four fell. Yeah, they were ants below, which yeah, would love to numb in your face. Yeah. No, Dyramites. You know, the, reason why, the, the, the reason why I can't remember doing this fight is because when we did it, uh, everyone just ran mm -hmm. up to the motherfucker, spanked him, and we were done. Yeah, because that was then, you know, it didn't matter. Like, my shot. COP experience was click the, uh, click the B, C, and M, I'm a skill chain after watch cutscene, get, get, get into zones, yep. see the NM die, exit that. zone. I can't remember if you ever recorded this place. It must be somewhere else, but uh, Aerodon was going on like that was his gate to WoW. That was that was <laughs> that was the Diab <laughs> that was uh, much much later. It was uh, about a year after this. <laughs> go away, I'm go away. I'm playing. Yeah, but I don't think it was a I don't think it was a COP. I think it was the Prime fight. Ah, I see. I don't know if you. Which I never won, by the way. I don't think. Oh, it was all right. You never summoned her. No, oh God, no. You don't want to be a level one summoner running around with. Do you know how many? Do you know how many of those little carby gems or whatever the fuck they were? I threw away. <laughs> all of them. All of the gems. Every every single one. Every time I got one. <laughs> again, this again, this battle is really showcasing how boring some of the Final Fantasy NM battles last, last were. Yeah. Oh, it's how boring we are. <laughs> Listen to you, you sound, you're like, you're putting me to sleep. No comments on uh, your playstyle in this video, by the way. I saw episode 6 had some uh, some comments about your playstyle in the uh, YouTube comments. Also, yeah, what, what, oh yeah, what, what, what are these comments? Have we got anything else that's trolling us? Love to opening thing. Thanks! You you put that in. Oh yeah, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that way to me. plug you. Way to block your own comment, jerk face. Yeah. Son. <laughs> That's, that was amazing. Good. Me too, me too. Lol. Oh my god, I thought my square Save your well. failed to take effect. So did mine. Oh, squares are starting to fall now. Yeah, I, 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 I can't um, even tell. To, uh, yeah, there's, there, there's a whole to, uh, big map. Oh, Bar Barakas is on Blue Mage. He's 2 hour. <laughs> Look out! Oh no! What was it? As your law? As your lord. Did, not, it was, did absolutely nothing. It was shit. <laughs> it was the, 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 descri the description of it was that it enhances blue magic. I'm telling you right now, every time I used it, my damage decreased. <laughs> Apparently, the is every stat minor. Oh god. Got it. Uh, it was fusion. Oh. Oh, skill change. How old cool is that? But look, at all, look at all the headbutts going off. Constant headbutt. Headbutt. There we go. We was that implosion? Hey, that was an explosion. So and there we have it. Bit look, where look at that. Look where we're standing. And to the spoils, the Z. Diablos is down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for as sleek as the Final Fantasy XI uh, interface was, as you mentioned before, Jared, it was absolutely hell for white mages. Because um, I was heavily reliant on whatever stat everyone else was having. 
Oh you yes. Know, like like debuffs like is somebody poisoned? Is somebody slept? Is somebody stunned? I had uh, I was so bad in um uh, in keeping tabs on all that stuff because I I rarely ever looked at what happened uh like in the graphics. I always looked at uh health bars and stuff and a chat yeah. log. I mean somebody always had to uh, uh call me out for a poisona or or a uh or whatever. It was so annoying. I'm I'm just really glad that 14 has the uh, capacity to actually Mother, help me Mother. see what, what other people are, are having, like debuffs and buffs. Yeah, you get a clear sort of eye of what's going on. Ugh, yeah. That was, that was the most annoying thing about 11 uh, for my job uh, to do. I tried Red Mage in 11, and I couldn't do it. There's just there's too much responsibility. Yeah. I can't keep track of anything. Yeah. And plus, I don't want to. I don't want to have. I didn't want to have to sit there and, you know, because you knew there were going to be people who were always going to be like, you know, refresh, 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 just screaming at you for refresh. Oh yeah, constant. Yeah. I would have been the most vindictive mage you would have ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I've recently leveled white mage in fourteen. Don't ask me ever to play it. You will die. Very. I, I was a. I was. I got to. I got conjure to twenty. Hmm. But it's 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 it was different, but it just it wasn't for me. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed leveling the mages actually. It was like I like blowing stuff up very effectively. But now that white mage's pure job is actually not to blow stuff up, but to yeah. the absolute opposite. I'm like I'm bored now, bored. Well, you're dying. Oh, well, that's a shame. But the only thing is that you know, I gotta tell you, there's nothing more fun than running up to Ifrit in a failing fight, <laughs> do holy <laughs> and slash dance. <laughs> Can I tell you? Oh my god! I mean, I I love Dragoon in this game, but I don't think it's really really hit it yet. Like, I don't feel like I do a lot of damage. Maybe I just suck, but um, I just don't think that it does as much damage as I was hoping it would do. I do love that. I do love that Dragonfire dive though. Oh yeah, Dragonfire dive is a lot of fun. No, yeah, especially when I, the first time I used it was on Ifrit. I, I, I used it on a hair when I first got it. Probably. No, I used it on... I used it... Device? Uh, not really. Nah. Not really. I mean, the Wyvern... I never really felt that the Wyvern did anything in Eleven. It just... They, they customized it a little bit more later on, but... So you could actually tell it to heal you every minute, or tell it to do an attack breath, but... Yeah. Healing-wise, it was, was kind of nice, but... You were doing so much Abyssia at that point, it almost really didn't make a difference. Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't solo. I didn't solo, so. Final Fantasy XI's Bane. Abyssia. Yeah, I, I'm, I think we kind of touched upon it last time, but I really feel like Abyssia was the, like, the dividing line. Yes. It, so, it was many the, I knew, yeah. so many people I knew, so many people I left after that came. It was the mindset killer. Mm-hmm. It was a mind. It was. It, it destroyed I mean, the entire ethos that had been built. In. I listen. I still listen to Eleven soundtrack, and I get all nostalgic. But I get nostalgic for the for the old Eleven. Yeah. Because I could go back anytime I wanted to, but I know that if I, it's not going to be what I what I really remember it as. And this is why I can't play it anymore because it's not the game that I once played and enjoyed. It's not the same experience. And there are people who are really into it, and that's cool. But it's just it's not something. I feel like the whole thing. Nothing mattered anymore. At that, n- no, nothing exactly. seemed to, There was no, there was no sense of achievement anymore. I, re- I remember, I remember having this, this, this discussion with you a few times. With every single time, it came down to this vicious circle of why do you go down to Abyssia to get gear? Okay, so why do you need the gear? Yeah, it's like what? Then what? What do you do what, with it after that? What else? What else is there? I mean, this this is true for almost every MMO, and it it kind of reaches into like being all existential about MMOs and what is life, lol. But right, you know, beating the highest boss and getting the top tier weapons. What then? Yeah, it's all it's getting yeah. very Cao Jung in here right now. I feel. Yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> you, you can stand in Ulda or, or, or Juno or whatever the fuck and stand there for three hours straight with your Ifrit weapon drawn. But sure enough, you're virtual EP, basically. It's it's ego. That's all it is. It was just ego in 11. Like, yeah, I guess. I never I never finished up my uh, AF3. No. I mean, I got... Hell no. I did get... Um, the only one I finished on was Blue Mage, and it was only the plus one. I got plus two hands. But... 
I never got further than that. I, I, I got did. all. I didn't even get all plus one on Dragoon. I didn't I got, get the hands. I got the base gear, and that was it. I never got a well, there, plus one, and I didn't care. What I hated, what I hated was again. I said this on the last thing we recorded, but the game was before Vicia. I felt like the game was heading towards a heading towards a more of a solo friendly environment. But as soon as Abyssia came out, it just went right back to the way it was before. Like, just let me log in, or at least give me a chance to try to get some seals. Like, even doing that, um, what the hell do they call that? Dominion Ops. You can get seals out of it, but it's like a 1 in 5,000 chance, and it may not even be the seal that you need. Yeah, exactly. I got all my Blue Mage body seals from that. It took me like six months, and I needed, I needed 10. To get my Dragoon hands, I needed, I need, uh, seriously, I needed a full group. And people would say to me, oh yeah, you can solve this and you can solve that, it's easy. I'm like, yeah, but you're assuming I have all these, you're assuming I have this primeval brew. You're assuming I have every single thing I can do to boost myself up. I don't have yeah. all that. And so what you can get, I said, well, again, it goes back to me needing people to get it. Yeah. Exactly. This, is, this is the story, this is, and this is the story of my, my 11 life. Yeah, this I said you. the story you, of my 11 life, basically. Because people just assumed, assumed they all had, yeah. yeah, people assumed I had a DD job to, to do the solo shit. Yeah, and this is what I like more about fourteen. Although it still requires parties to do the big end game, big end sort of stuff. They like if we ruder. There's much more as, as an individual you can go out there and do on a multitude of jobs. And because of that, it it just feels like fourteen has at least a bit more open to different playstyles that different people want to do. I mean, you can go farm NMs for pop items or year in general, you can level a job. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, whereas for 11, you know, if you really effectively want to DXP, you had to join a shout group or shout yourself, organize those people, hope they didn't leave after 30 minutes. It, it, it's much less of a pain in the backside now. Right. Also, oh, uh, yeah. also, this is not fun. This was not getting a sense of accomplishment. This was finally getting shit done after being bored out of your fucking skull for five straight hours. Yep. This was not fun. Ever. At least in 14, you know, we could log in for an hour and do something and get something done. In 11, I was yeah. never able to do that. Like, if, if only I could play for an hour, it's like, okay, well, let me go into Abyssia and let me maybe get, like, you know, a seal for my job. If I could just get one by myself, cool. It's better than getting nothing. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, I I just remember this time last summer I was trying so hard to get so much of my seals to get my AF3. Every, and I always I was always joining shout groups and every single time I went we just completely wiped or it was one of those situations where okay well everyone's got the shit they need and I'm, of course I'm thrown to the curb. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the most frustrating thing and I bet you all of you have gone through this too. Everybody around you like all of your friends they seem to get it and have no problem getting it but you. Mm -hmm. You are the one having the trouble getting it the most. Yeah, I had I had that in eleven like constantly. Fourteen yeah. was the first game that uh, uh, made me feel on top of things. I st I think you know when it came to eleven, there were just so many times, and I'm not bashing the game because I have some very strong positive memories of the game, but oh, there were definitely. so many times when I felt like I was being punished for something. Oh, yes. Even even down to the most basic thing. I still think the biggest asshole thing they ever did was putting bats in those tunnels in Valkram Dunes. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. There was no way to avoid them. You always had, And they never, they were relentless. They never leave you alone. You had to run all the way to Constat Highlands if you could make it. And you're Come in on. Dunes early on, so nobody's going to have a raise for you. You had to hope that there was a that there was a PL or someplace. Then you go, then you HP back to Sandoria, where the hell you're from. And you had to walk all the way back down because you didn't have the teleport crystal yet. So you had to walk all the way back down and go through the whole thing all over again. Have I ever told you that I got stranded in Falcom Dunes for like three weeks? Well, I did too. I did too. You set your home point there, right? Yeah, I totally did. Yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, was, you silly, was, silly guy. This now this was like um, the first month into. Uh, what nation were you from, by the way? I forget. You Sandoria. I came from Sandoria. Oh, okay. Originally. All right. So, yeah. um, this was like my first month into Final Fantasy XI, uh, back on uh, the character I had before Sunni. Um, we went to the dunes, got into a party. Uh, we went through the tunnel to the location near the Konstad Highland zone. And there is a uh, a flag bearer there. Where you can set your home point. Yep. Yeah. And I set my home point there because I knew I'm gonna die. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. And is I want the, to. 
Huh? Is this the one by is this the one by Highlands or is it the Outpost? No, it's the one by Highlands. Oh, yeah, like mine, mine behind says. the behind the tunnel. Yeah. So <laughs> I set my home point there with the uh, with the the flag bearer or whatever the hell they called it. Um I set my home point because I know I'm going to die. I'm going to die often because I have no idea how this fucking game works and mm-hmm. I might as well die and get back to a place that I can like run back easily to my party. So <laughs> So that happens and like after uh an hour and a half of solid EXP partying, uh the group disbands and I got stuck. Oh. I'm like, okay, how am I and and I, I didn't realize this at first because um I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna die and I'm just I'm gonna go back to my home point and It'll be like uh, Selbina or or whatever, yeah. and I the chilling sensation when I woke up in the dunes again. I'm like, oh fuck, oh shit, I'm stuck here. Uh-huh. So, and I tried to tra- traverse through the tunnel and got uh-huh. fucking ass raped by those bats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because there's no and way I to go. Like you, you couldn't no. even. And this is probably, and this is probably before they they put the the um, mo- um the Moogles in Selvina, I bet. So you couldn't change jobs. No, th- those weren't there yet. And I, you know, I had to go through that tunnel to get to fucking Selvina. You couldn't get there anyway. Yeah. No, I couldn't get there anyway. And you know what the hell is invisibility <laughs> powder? What the hell is sneak? Uh, uh-huh. Lol, how the fuck does this game work? Uh, I don't think I even had my sub job unlocked at that point. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was. Just, wow, this burned me on the game so bad, and I tried to go through Konstad and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna see what's what's through this zone. Maybe and there's a back road Kronstadt. I can take. It's like, hey, look, wasp stab. Fuck this, and I logged out, and I think I I, I didn't log it into the game for like a few weeks. You hoped that when you logged back in, you'd somehow magically be back in Sandoria. It's sorta, of, yeah. But yeah, I had you, the same lo- thing. you log back in. You log back in and of course you're still in that fucking dune. I had the same thing. It was not nearly as bad as yours, but I do remember I, I made two attempts to get back to Sandor. I actually made it through the tunnel uh-huh. and got to I got killed by an orc in Lathane. Uh-huh. So I got you know, I got back. So then I start running back again. Again, no chocobo license, don't have the telecrystal. Didn't matter because there's nobody there that'd be able to teleport me anyway. Yeah. So I start, and there's no other place to set your home point along the way, really. So I kept going. I got to West Ronfair. I'm like, oh, finally. Yeah. Finally. Now I'm I'm level eleven. The dulcet tones of Ronfar. So I can see Sandoria. I can see the entrance in my view. It. So I'm going right. Now, yeah. my HP is kind of low because I had aggroed something earlier but managed to get away. So, and this is as I'm reaching Sandoria, all I hear, I'm like, I turn around, there's a goblin. I'm like, oh, fuck! So I keep <laughs> running and running and running. So I'm running like hell. The thing hasn't caught up to me yet. I literally get to the, the, the ramp that takes you into the city, and I die. I dropped right there. No. And, I, and I waited oh. for like 15, 20 minutes. Nobody came around. No, whatever. This story no is one. worse. My story was bad, but this story is Dude, worse. Dude, you were trapped in hell. You couldn't get out. Like, <laughs> You smelled freedom, and you got shut down. I could I mean, forgive my poor impression of a goblin making an aggro sound, but fuck, man. Whoop. And I beg, I'm like, I beg my I'm like, guys, please, please, I know, please, someone come down and escort, this is when you needed an escort. Remember you need, remember early on? Mm-hmm. Like, somebody escort me to Juno. Somebody escort me. I this is how I to got get... to the dunes the first time. Yeah. Oh my god. I, yeah, I, I think I think this, this was the same for me. So and bear in I mind, got... I was in Windurst, and as oh, such, that's the thing. Through, now, see, I was talking about that with somebody. You guys out in Windurst, you you must have had it the worst because. Yeah. Well, let me tell you my story. Um, I know that Rima Peninsula that was supposed to be the other dunes. It like, was. Yeah, it never got used. used. Nobody went there. Because fuck Boomerimu. Let me yeah. tell you my story. So first time I went to this quite harrowing experience. I've been leveling out in Tarongi, me and my friend, uh, and we've just been killing off stuff. And uh, yeah, this guy came across and said, oh, what are you doing out here? I said, oh, we're leveling. I said, oh, why don't you go to Dunes? I'm like, what are Dunes? You know, this is before we even knew what was on the opposite end of the planet. So he escorted us through Boo Boo, 
He then took us to the dunes where he power leveled us for a while. You know, oh, we got, by the way, we got bandit, we got bloody pirates, Blackbeard on the ship on the way over as well. That was, oh. so, <laughs> we were just like, we were like, what's that? What, 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 why is Blackbeard on the ship? And he's like, why oh, is the music oh, changing? It's like, don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. Just don't go, don't go upstairs. It's like, why? What's going to happen? It's like, just don't go upstairs. So me and him are freaking. <laughs> oh my! Don't go upstairs. Your pants all the way to see. Yeah, so I'm just like, like a fucking horror movie. It's like a, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, is he gonna come down here? Is he gonna come here? What are they gonna do? I was like, <laughs> blink, blink, and you're dead. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. That's so it's like that's in Jurassic. That's in Jurassic Park. Like the T Rex, it can't see you if you doesn't if you don't move. Stand still. It won't see you. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun in games for a while, but then. We got there. He followed us for a little while, and then he just abandoned us. He he, he just left us in the middle. Oh. He left. He took us to the uh, telecrystal out in uh, in uh, Contract okay. Highlands and just left us there. Oh. Like I presume you set your home point down there. Yes. So I was like, so how do I get home now? It felt like an episode of Lost in Space. It was like, <laughs> how do I get home? So, dude, you we... were past an Oceanic Flight Eight One Five, and you crashed on the island. Pretty much. We spent a full morning, I feel, trying to get back, but we didn't go back to the ship. No, 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 because we didn't know it went. We didn't know it worked two ways. <laughs> we did not know it went two ways. We only thought it was a one-way system. We thought, oh, so it's here to bring you to Selbina. This is like when I was still a noob at video games. So are you? So are you like looking for an, a different ship that'll take you back? Uh, we spent a little time looking for a different ship, and then we just ran from. We made our way to Juno that day and back down. <laughs> you know how many heart attacks I nearly had? Oh, I'll bet. So you got to Juno and then you were like probably even more confused. Like, where the fuck am I now? Yes, we spent a good... This is not my home nation. This is... We were like, what is this city? What is... What is this? And then you get, And then, and then you, you wander into port, uh, port Juno. You see the windows flagging like, oh, I can take a ship back. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's no. an airship. You need to pass. Fuck you. Uh, so we said, uh, yeah, yeah. but yeah, so spent a whole morning trying to get back. Uh, okay, I, I, this is not as bad. This is not even about being lost, but I'll never forget. I unlocked Beastmaster. Remember, you had to go to to Quiffum. You had to yeah. go down and get the that flower beneath the uh, Kraken. Yeah. So I do that. Now I'd seen my friend. This is I'd seen my friend use Beastmaster before, so I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool. You, know, you can charm mobs and fight." I'm like, "Awesome, that's really cool." So I go back to to, to Lower Juno. I get the quest it's turned in. I get the job. I'm like, "Oh, this is so awesome! I can go out. I can just go outside and I can just charm mobs." Now I didn't realize that mobs had different tiers of difficulty at the time. <laughs> so I go into Battalia Downs and I see a goblin. I'm like, "I'm gonna try it on the goblin." <laughs> Round two, fight. And that and that goblin's like, oh, what? <laughs> GTFO. Yeah, I, I mean, I went to the goblin. And was like, you know, I was kind of like less than three. <laughs> no, I less remember. than slash three after that. <laughs> I remember um, getting some new friends in two eleven, um, and I remember telling one of my friends, like, whatever you do, do not go into this zone until you're at least level 20 and being this this zone being uh juggernaut forest <laughs> and because i said i'm gonna take you through run, run four i'm gonna take you to lathane i'm gonna show you around and i'm sure you can like manage one through 20 without me yeah and whatever you do stay the fuck away from juggernaut you do not have to be there until you're like level 20 because you need to go to Juno and get your chocobo. He's like 80. He hasn't set foot in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I come back from school one day. And my friend comes up to me. And he says, you need to see where I am right now. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go up to his room. He shows me his screen. And he is in Juno without his sub job. Uh -oh. At level fucking five. Oh my god. As yeah, and, and back then, that's like the ultimate, yeah. I'm like, you're here to tell me that you ran from fucking Sandoria through Jugnerforce, through Battalia, 
into Juno and you did not die. It's like, I am here to tell you exactly that. It's like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> Any idea how long it took for me to get to fucking Juno? Any idea? I had to get an escort. <laughs> me too. I got I got an escort now. Yeah. Oh. But and getting to Juno I... back then, Juno was a big deal. That yeah. was a big deal back then. Because Chocobo. That's when you real. I mean, at the time, that's when you really kind of became the character. That's when you really your character really became big. You know, you yeah. you didn't you had Chocobo, you had airship, you had sub job, you had everything. That's just when the whole world opened up for you. Yeah, because you got into the like the big hub world. Right. Everyone was shouting and and like hustle and bustle. So when you yeah. you finally re- also for me when I finally realized the scope of the game. Do you know that even though I'm not active anymore, but if I if I was to log in right now, I still now I've played I started the game in October of 2003. I still don't have a map to Quiffum Island. What? <laughs> what? I don't I don't need one. Okay. I know the whole place backwards and forwards. There is no reason for me to have a map. I don't have a map to every zone. I, I probably have the same thing to one like stupid zone or another. I got a map to the jungles and I was even more confused. <laughs> I remember installing dat files for those fucking maps in Yatunga and, and Yoltor. Okay, I, I, I just right. need to know where the hell to go. I gotta go down this road. Yotar jungle. The two parties on either side. This is the old days. The goblin smithies at the zone that uh, everybody had to zone yeah. every single time. There was always that, you know, high level, high level person who was standing there guarding the whole place for us. Yeah. One of the funniest things I ever saw out there, I've ever seen in the game. I don't know why, but this struck me. I, I was dying laughing when I saw this. It wasn't a goblin. There was a group who was fighting the Mandys, as you always did. And they were all getting wiped out. The only one left was some Galka. I saw a Galka, this big hulking Galka, running away from a tiny little man, Degoria, and it was like the funniest thing I ever saw in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if you could, he could just like step on that thing, and you know, but he's run, he's and he's got a big axe, and he's running clear for the zone away from this tiny little man, Degoria. <laughs> Cue Benny Hill theme. <laughs> exactly, much. but th- but that there was that place, and you know we've t- discussed this before, and everybody will know exactly what we mean. There was that, and there was the uh, citadel, the bats in citadel. It was there was th- it was those two places that were just sheer utter hell. Oh, garlic! Before they before they ch- before they changed the re- the uh, spawn thing, mm-hmm. everybody would be partying on the steps in that corner. Everything somebody would just come running around the corner. There'd just be like this big black void coming at you, and like people would be screaming. You're fucking up our XP party. You're ruining our XP. You're fuck fucking you. Yeah, because everybody had to zone. Every single person who came through that path had to run out with them. That is just so fucking unsociable. Yeah. Oh, but then when I got high level, I did it on purpose. <laughs> I, did, I, I did it. I did it with uh, my friends and I a long time ago. Did it with Guivre down in Cuffdale Tunnel. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Goddamn troll. I guess uh, I am. It, it's the old days. It, it makes you smile and you remember the trolley. Man, reminiscent. But I, re- I, I resent that I can't do that in 14. Because <laughs> the, the mobs go back to their territory. Yeah, so sometimes on. sometimes you really do feel the need to fucking MPK a bitch. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> it makes you smile inside. But look, it's one of those things like we hated it at the time, but looking back on it, it's... Really, really funny, but yeah, eleven really is a game I love to hate. Yeah. I could have been seventy-five so much faster had it not been for those fucking assholes chaining oh, mobs to this. No kidding, I could have been for seventy-five real. like a day earlier. I could have been <laughs> ten days. Uh, and talking of dying, and talking. Oh, of nice death. segue. Thanks. Wow. Before we do that, we have to, you know, mention the contact info and stuff. And oh right, yeah. Bye. So, mention. How the good people can get a hold of us. Did you have a lollipop in your mouth? I no, it's just British. I'm just British. No, I've got something in my mouth. It's not, not a lollipop, though. Stop oh, it. Oh, that's what it no. is. So, <laughs> maybe it is a lollipop. Stop. Carry on. Fuck. 
Oh, uh, would you like to finish that sentence, Sunny? No, that's okay. So, yes, right, tell them how they can get a hold of us, us lovely people. Don't ever call me. Cause I'll, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just say thanks. <laughs> or th- oh, thank you. It was thank you, right? Whatever one it was. Yeah, it was uh, auto-translated. Thank you, schmuck. <laughs> I don't use auto-translate. It couldn't have been auto-translate. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so I've you know I've I've managed to set up our forums. Uh, the old forums for eleven are still around, but I've actually set up a new a brand new one. There's I'm the only one who's posted, so I kind of want some activity if possible. I'm sure all these gonna, links will be below the video as well. They're below the video, but I'm going to save them because this is the best URL for any forum ever. It's chocobo nights dot omg forum dot net. <laughs> I think that's I think that's what it is. OMG forum. OMG forum. OMG forum. OMG. Yes. OMGs. Om. Oh oh um. <laughs> we do have a Facebook page, you know, Sugar Bowl Nights of Vanadil and Erosia, soon to just be Erosia. Mm-hmm. Um. I won't mention the YouTube channel because they're obviously on the YouTube channel. If they're listening to this. The four people that are listening to it, and then I have the Twitter account, which is twitter.com slash Chocobo Nights. And then there's always this is individual you can get hold. Of. And the email and the the final email address. We are the real Chocobo Nights at gmail.com. <laughs> but hold on, are there fake Chocobo Nights? Uh, maybe, yeah, tons of them. Pretend I've heard all yes. of the place. You've heard. Yes. We shall find so, them. But them. Syn- syndication was cancelled on the other Chocobo Nights, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is a real. This is a real network show. <laughs> Thursdays at nine on CBS and <laughs> BBC. Um, right, after, right after the Big Bang Theory. So. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Keeping, keeping in so, line so, with the nerdiness. Exactly. So, in addition to leaving comments, you can leave us. You can send us some pithy emails at therealtogamonites at gmail.com. And we will read them out on air as well if you have questions. Oh, so inclined. No, we'll read them out online, then we'll make fun of them. Yeah, yeah. Like your YouTube comments. Yeah, all your YouTube comments that belong to law. How do you talk to each other? (laughs) (laughs) I think your red mace should stand back more instead of giving the NM some TPs. Snort. Anyway, like the comments, comments, though. (laughs) But no, thank you everyone for watching us again. We hope you enjoyed our ramblings as much as we enjoyed rambling. And we leave you with news that the video you watched before all this was our second try at Diablo. We leave you now with what happened on the first try. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Goodbye, everybody. everybody.